Hi, I'm Casey Miller, owner of the Meeting Place Butcher Shop in Hillsborough, Oregon. We're a full service butcher shop, so we do everything from mobile slaughter um, to all of our smoked goods um, and everything in between. So everything that you find in our meat case, we brought in a whole muscle and either cured, smoked, um, or ground, turned into sausage. Uh, but everything we sell at the Meeting Place is made from scratch here. We've just recently rolled out our own farm and our own inspected slaughter, uh, which we're called Meeting Right. Um, where we raise our own beef, slaughter our own beef, and sell it right here out of the butcher shop. I started the meeting place, I think, in 1993, um, and worked there for about eight or nine years learning the meat industry. I was really intrigued by it, um, and at the time, the meat industry was dominated by grocery stores, um, and there wasn't many independent retailers, um, and I had an interest at a very young age of doing something different in the meat industry. We really started out as just a custom processor when I opened it in 2011, um, but I felt there was a big need for an independent meat market. People wanted to shop somewhere besides their local grocery store to find meat. Um, and then in 2013, I opened our first retail meat market, uh, which was very small compared to what we have now. Uh, but the demand was obviously there. Um, people wanted to buy locally sourced meat, cut from quality meat cutters, cut not out of a package, out of styrofoam. Um, and the demand was instant, um, and we ended up having to move out of the original butcher shop and, and into the one about five times the size within three years of opening the first shop. Pre-COVID, I had just built our new butcher shop, so we've got about 17,000 square feet down here. When COVID first hit, there was a sense of panic and like didn't know, didn't know what was gonna happen. Um, and within two weeks, we were so busy, we couldn't keep up. Um, I think we hired about 17 to 20 people within the first three months of COVID. Um, and then the meat shortage just happened, right? So the slaughterhouses were the first ones to go down with COVID and get wiped out. Um, so when that happened, there was a huge meat shortage here in Portland. Um, so major grocery stores couldn't get meat. Um, and with my connections to the meat industry, we were able to get carcasses out of a local slaughterhouse in uh, Moses Lake, Washington. So every Tuesday we would get a truckload of carcasses. Um, and we were one of the only stores that had meat during that time. And we just exploded. You know, we probably doubled our business within the first year of COVID. Um, and then after COVID, we were able to maintain that business and still continue to grow. The meat shortage made me really realize that we are restricted by our supplier, right? Just because we've got the facility and we're able to cut it. If we can't get meat in the back door, we can't, we can't push it out the front door. Um, so it was actually is once COVID had settled down that I realized we needed to be more vertical for sustainability, for our own insurance for the business. Um, and that's what, that's what gave us the first idea of going vertical and raising our own beef and going inspected slaughter. The next step was really figuring out where we were going to raise our own animals and how we were going to get them to be able to be sold in the retail shop. My name is Andrew Turner and I'm the owner of Top Valley Cattle Company and the manager of Meeting Place Commercial Processing. The options for harvest facilities were pretty limited just due to cost of building a brick and mortar, but in my mind Mobile Harvest has always been what I envisioned. In came Friesla and found out about their Mobile Harvest units and started doing research from there. What appealed about working on a Mobile Harvest unit was that you didn't have to have a standalone facility, that you could service farmers on their own property, that you'd be able to make more of an impact with the meat produced out at Andy's Farm, Top Valley Ranch. We knew that we could convert a, a slaughter facility into it. Uh, we decided to go mobile and use Friesla uh, for a couple of reasons. Much less expensive uh, infrastructure to start with. Um, and we also needed to haul the carcasses from our slaughter site to our processing site. So with the refrigeration capacity on the trailer, it made mobile the best option. Now that we are state inspecting, we've got the inspected mobile harvest unit, there's a lot of different avenues we can go. Um, we can keep increasing our capacity of what we process here if we want to distribute that to other stores or other locations that we may open across the state. We also have the ability to go up and down the valley um, and be able to have depots for slaughter in other places um, that we can still get back to our facility to process. Um, that was another big um, decision maker going mobile that we wouldn't have to have farmers bring animals all the way up to our slaughter facility. Probably the most important thing singly is to be vertically integrated so we're not relying on other people to operate our business. In our region, in Oregon, I, I see a trend going towards smaller processor and away from bigger processing. And I hope that's kind of mimicked throughout the country. Um, but for the first time in my life in the meat industry, this is the first time I see a trend going to smaller processing. People have really evolved on what they're looking for in food in general, not only meat, but produce and where they source their food. And uh, health conscious people much prefer a non-processed product, 
something that they know where it comes from. I do take a lot of pride in sourcing the best proteins that I can provide for the community, and that's one big thing that we've taken up with raising our own beef, um, where we control it from raising of the beef, the slaughter of the beef, um, and then selling it directly to our community here in Hillsboro. It's great to be able to have the animals that we've raised ourselves go directly to harvest here on farm. And then the same day end up in the butcher shop. There's half a dozen hands that have a part of that whole process versus a giant corporation. There's a huge pride in going into that retail store and seeing the meeting right label on the beef in the case. It was kind of the realization of like a 13 or 14 year dream when we walked in this spring and it's like, that's our beef in the case for the first time ever. It's still pretty surreal because that's what I've been working for since I thought of it. Um, but I'm hugely proud of what we're doing and really excited about where we're going.